Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I have two die collections, two die sets from our friends at Hunky Dory Crafts. These are Moonstone Dimensional Flower Cutting Dies. We have the Sunflower and the Cornflower and together you guys, make beautiful cards just like this one. This is going to be our giveaway for this episode. So if you hop on over to our Paper Wishes YouTube channel and like, comment, and subscribe, you're entered into win the contest and we'll pick one lucky winner, win this card to keep or share with a friend. So stick around and come play with us. Okay, so you guys, this um, cornflower die set has six dies. It's got two sizes of these flowers right here. And then this is the little center one right here. And then it's got two of those. So I'm gonna show you, I have another card using this one. I'm gonna show you how to assemble it with that one. But with this one, you guys, I just took um, these dies and I used, what paper pack did you use? I used 12 by 12 Flower Queen pattern cardstock. This is new. It is absolutely gorgeous. And also the coordinating solid. And it's got this blue right there, okay? That's what we want. And on the back side of these flowers, it's light blue, right? And so I went ahead and I die cut two of this size, two of this size, two of this one, and two of this one. You really want those flowers to have lots of fullness, and that's where all those layers are gonna come from, all right? And then what I did is I took a couple of ink pads. I took Prussian blue, because it's just a little darker than the paper, and then I just used a dauber, one of these little guys, just to go ahead and apply that to each petal, all right? I just set them down and went dob, dob, dob on each petal, and then for the inner ones, I used the same color of blue from Flower Queen Solid Cardstock on all of these, but if you can see the center one, it looks a little bit more purpley right there. Okay, and that's because I used this violet ink pad on those and I just sort of covered the whole surface of that because I just wanted to tint that color a little bit differently so that this showed up against that darker blue. And then as far as um, shaping them, you guys, all I did with these is I just sort of held them in my hand and I just sort of tweaked each one of those petals and turned them upward. And I'll show you that on the next card. So then the petals here are also cut from one of the patterned papers that are in the Flower Queen collection. I just took a little bit of this green that had a little bit of texture on it and I die cut those from the two sizes. I added a little bit with the doll bar as well, the, ho the holly green, which is a really nice dark, rich green. And I just added that a little bit to the edge not the whole thing, just a little bit to one side. It didn't really matter what one side it was, but I wanted them to have just a little bit of variation of color there. Um, for the centers, I used this great big pack of rainbow flat back pearls. And I refer to this one a lot because it's just got all kinds of colors in it, but there's just little white pearls in there. And this is a great one to have in your stash because every color is in here at least a variation of every color. So it's just a really nice one to have. And there's a lot of every color. So I didn't have any problem finding two matching pearl ones. Let's see what else. Um, the ribbon right here is from the 1 8 inch ribbon collection. Okay, there's a nice little forest screen there. And then what I did was I took from this little frame here, I just went ahead and, well, first of all, I covered my six and a half by five inch card with this yellow flower queen paper here with the beautiful print on it. And then I inked all the edges with that Prussian blue that was on my dauber already from coloring these. And I just kind of went around the edges there. Then if you turn this paper over, you get this paper, this really cool kind of patterned yellow. And I went ahead and I die cut little windows using these square ones. So I nested this is a larger square, and then I nested the next size down inside of that. And then I foam taped one on top of the other, and then just glued my flowers in there, sort of built up um, the little leaves around the edges. I like to glue the flowers just at the center so that you can lift them up and add the leaves, okay? You don't need to go crazy and add glue all the way to the edges. Just add it to the center, push it down, and then you're still gonna have time to stick in all those little leaves and stuff. It gives you a room to maneuver. That's what's really important. Okay, and then 
I used some little dazzle stickers right here, and this is a straight line, colorful dazzle sticker, border sticker. So these are great. And I use this blue one right here. But this is also a great one to keep in your stash because there's different sizes. There's some nice thick ones right here and then some nice thin ones. And they're just a really, just clean looking border right there. And then black tiny words and phrases dazzle stickers, also a must to have because sometimes you just need a little greeting. So this is our giveaway. And if you're not familiar with that, we have a YouTube channel for Paper Wishes as well. So if, you just, if you're watching us on our Paper Wishes webisode page, then right down there, right down there, there is a YouTube icon. If you click on that, it'll just teleport you right over to our YouTube channel. And if you subscribe and you like and you comment on this card, you'll be entered into win and we will just pick a lucky winner and we will reply to your comment and we'll say, hey, you're the winner and give you instructions on how to contact us and claim your card and make sure you claim your card. Makes me sad when people don't claim their cards. All right, the next one, you guys, is also using that cornflower, but this is a slim line, and I use different materials on this one. So this one is eight and a half by three and a half inches, and this one has lots of specialty papers on it. It's really cool. It's really got a lot of texture going on. So the first layer right here is our forest suede paper. And if you're not familiar with suede, it's fabric suede on the top, and then on the back, it's paper. It die cuts beautifully. It is just the most awesome paper. And it's really great to have a couple of these colors in your stash because they make great leaves and things like that. And just add a little bit of texture. And as I said, the die cutting and they ink really well. It's just a, a really nice thing to have. So um, did that, made it just a little bit smaller so you have a nice little white border. And then you guys, we have our torn edge, rectangle torn edge cutting die. And I used the second one down right here and I cut white glitter cardstock right there. And then I inked the edges with that Prussian blue again, right around there. Um, on this side, added some of those colorful thin line dazzle stickers, but used the really small blue, okay? And then this greeting right here came from the inside, outside, is that what they're called? Inside and outside primary dazzle stickers. All right, I used the green ones for sending warm thoughts right there and lots of beautiful colors. And there's also little hearts on here. So I took one of those green little hearts and added there. It'd be sweet for Valentine's Day. And let's see what else. Oh yeah, I die cut these little stems from olive suede paper. Okay, so it looks so nice against that forest. This is so great if you're die cutting trees and you're putting sort of a cluster of trees together or foliage or anything like that. Those two shades are just beautiful. So let's talk about the flowers. So the flowers, I use two shades of blue, well, two types of blue. This is blue uh, glitter cardstock and this is blue Miri cardstock. So it's really shiny. And I die cut them, okay, together. And just, um, I think I did two of each. Yes, I did, two of each size. And then as far as shaping these go, and the, these papers really, they're, they're thick cardstock, so they're great to work with. They really hold their shape. You don't need to use the little flower forming tools, but if you have these, you could. And to just make it easier, if you don't have a foam, I just use like little layers of craft foam. And you could just do this with the largest ball tool and you're just pushing like this. And I'll list these ball tools down below, but what you're going for is just a little bit of a curve, right? And then same thing with the glitter, and we're gonna go like this. And because this card only uses very small amounts of both of these, it's really nice to have some of this glitter and Miri cardstock because you could use the scraps to do this. All right, remember you're doing two of these and two of these. You've shaped them so they're just a little bit like this. You want a little bit of dimension here. You don't want a lot. These are great because you can still mail them easily. They're pretty sturdy. And then what you're gonna do is when you 
put these together, I want you to do two of these and two of these, but you're going to glue them just at the center, right there, and you're gonna offset them so that they're like this. So I really wanted to show you with these two pieces because then you can see, if you line them up like perfectly, then you're not gonna see those two different colors, those contrasts. We want to see the contrast, there we go. All right, and then here is one of those little leaves, and you can see I just put a little bit of uh, dark green ink right on one edge. Use that same. So these are the colors I used on this card. I use a little bit of the holly green on that olive suede, and then I don't know if I mentioned this, I took that same Prussian blue, because frankly I had some on my dauber, it was on my desk, and I just went around the edge right here of that torn edge cutting die. Put my greetings right there. Don't forget to add one of those little pearls from that little bag there, and you're all set. Same thing, when I glue this down, only glue it at the center back, okay? And then you're just tucking in your flowers with just a little bit of glue. I just put a tiny bit of glue on the end, and then I just tuck them in like that, and it makes all the difference. It makes it very easy to work with. All right, let's see what else we got. So that is, I'm done with that one. I've got so much to show you today. All right, so the next one, you guys, is our sunflowers, okay? Sunflowers, we've gotta get ready for summer. These are really pretty sunflowers, so let's take a look at this. This is a cutting die that I use the cutting dies with. And this is our tuxedo box card cutting dies, all right? And let me show you what these look like. This is a really fun and easy card to put together. But it's got a lot of wow, you know, when your friend gets this. What I like about it, it's, it's easy to see what you're gonna do with it. When they're gonna get in the mail, they're gonna go, oh, look, oh, look at that, okay. And then on the back, I just put a little bit of yellow, so you can still write a little greeting there, all right? Um, so let's get back to this. So we've got, this is the back piece, and then this right here is the front piece. And these, this is the score line down the center, and this is the flap that's gonna fold down. And then this is the center piece that's holding this piece up. All right, so don't worry, we're gonna put it together. So here is this piece right here. And somewhere, I've got my pokey tool, here we go. And I'm using a little extra sticky tape right here and right here on those flaps. Don't worry, we've got all of the instructions and like even the guide about where to put your adhesives on here it makes it really, really simple to put together. And of course, we're giving you a card idea there. So I like to always use my pokey tool when I've got my extra sticky tape. And it makes it so much easier. Just pull those off. All right, and then I just die cut these from just scrap colors, but this is this piece right here, the front. This is what makes this the tuxedo die. Okay, and you're just gonna do this and follow those score lines right there. Helps if you have your bone folder. I don't know why I always forget my bone folder when I'm filming. And then try not to stick it to stuff. There we go. All right, just like that. And then you've got this little cross piece right here, and it's got a little place to fold, okay? So you could fold here, and you could fold here, or you can fold here. <laughs> That's how you're supposed to fold it. All right, and um, so you're gonna fold it like this, and then I've put extra sticky tape right next to the fold. Really, could put like multiple layers here to fill up this whole little area on the fold, but I find it's just fine if you have just a strip right up next to the fold. All right, then you're going to measure from the top. You wanna to make sure that it's down far enough. So just about where this little bend is, got these little extra sticky tape pieces are following me. So right about here, okay? You're going to just pop this down. First of all, don't forget to score this part right here. I mean, fold it on the score. There we go. 
And then we're going to just put this right there. So that's gonna pop open, and that's where you're going to glue this little rectangle. And there isn't a die for this piece. You would just cut it to any size rectangle that fits in there that covers that. Um, I went ahead and used some um, beautiful pattern paper. This is six by six sunflowers. And I used some of the beautiful all over sunflowers for this and this. It just made it beautiful and so easy. And the base is just this brown from the coordinating solid card stock right here. I use that a lot. And then these little cutouts are from the little cutout section page right there. You get multiples of these. This one is so nice because you can have so many. All right, so then this one I used patterned paper to put on there, but for our purposes we're just going to use this solid yellow that was a scrap. All right, and we're just going to put that right there. And we're going to stick this one right here as well. All right, and so just kind of go like this. Doesn't that sound up nice? And then you just glue your little rectangle piece right here. And it looks so nice, and it folds nice and flat. And then I took some gingham ribbon, and I just glued some right here, made a little bow, glued that right there. Even just adding some little scraps right there and then back there just adds that little detail there. As far as these beautiful sunflowers, couldn't be easier to do. You're gonna cut out two of this color, two of this one right here, and I cut two of the yellow, and then you're gonna cut one of these, and the little center part right there, you're gonna be using that. And then I cut a couple leaves, and then I inked the edges of these, you guys. So go ahead and use a little bit of buttercup yellow on the yellow. You could always use a little mustard as well if you want to darken the edges of those. And then a little bit of holly green on your leaf. And I even used a little bit of cocoa brown on the center pieces right there. All right, so let's take a look at another one. There we go. So this is a six and a half by five inch card and I used the same paper pack and the same colors here, but added this one. This is kind of an orangey color, and just added this one. And for this, I did a little bit of inking by adding a little bit of gingerbread to the edges of these petals. Just a nice flat flower that you can add little foam tapes to. So I put a foam tape between these layers, between the two flower layers, and then an extra little bit of foam tape right there. This right here is a cutting die. This is all over chicken wire, and it's four and a quarter by five and an eighth. I just cut it from some brown cardstock, and then I just had a little scrap right here of this brown pattern that came from the sunflower, and I just glued that. It's about two inches wide, and I just glued that right there. Inked the edges with a little bit of that gingerbread. The Thinking of You Dazzle Sticker is from our Pearl and Pastels We're Together Dazzle Stickers. I forgot to grab those, but I'll link those down below. And then just add a little bit of gingham. It makes it a little country. So yeah, really easy to do, you guys. All right, I think I got through all of them. So we have a fantastic money saver. It's right over there. and. These two cutting dies are, I think, a kind of must-have to have for your, your stash, you guys. They are really amazing. Where did I put the other one? Here it is. And yeah, as you can see, you can do a lot with them. So I think it's a really nice one to have in your collection. Uh, don't forget to participate in our giveaway. It's this card right here. Money savers right there. All the other items are listed down below. And if you're watching this on YouTube, um, just look below the video in the description box and there's a link that'll take you to this Paper Wishes webisode page so that you can see everything, all the products we used. Thanks for joining me today, you guys, and we'll see you in the next one.